and she is Sina Kaleem, a psychologist based in Glasgow, who has worked with both adults and children over a decade in providing counseling and mental health support and services. She has extensive counseling experience in spirituality and well being, depression, anxiety and stress, trauma, and issues relating to minority groups, and many more psychological services. She is also the producer, director, and host of mental health series called Real Lives on TV. And she will be speaking about modern era and spirituality. Sana, please. Thank you, uh, Ravinder, and um, uh, thank you for inviting and great to see everyone for those I can see, but also the attendees. Uh, it's been an absolute privilege. I'm just going to uh, share my screen. Um, what I wanted to cover um, is uh, what is the essence and importance of spirituality in today's world? Because sometimes what people um, or maybe what I have observed, I don't know uh, if somebody else has observed that, but people sometimes are very reluctant in mentioning spirituality or talking about, uh, you know, their beliefs or gods, or maybe it might be a controversial topic or something very heated. But let's get to know the kind of the importance of why spirituality is important in our lives. What what part does it play? Why has it been, uh, you know, for thousands and thousands of years? So kind of making sense of the impact that has on us, um, others, and then the world at large. So getting to understand that. So I only have 15 minutes. So I'll try and do as much as I possibly can and do a bit, bit more justice to this. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, let me just put this one here. Okay, so basically spirituality is defined by different peoples in different ways. Um, and but majority of the people say that it's basically searching um, your purpose of life. Okay, it gives you a sense of direction, a structure, and uh, pursuing towards something bigger than ourselves, um, which is what is kind of one of the most fundamental things in spirituality is that we uh, there is a sense of belief that there's a higher power or energy or, or God or, you know, you can call it different things, but that's what spiritual journey is, is seeking um, to go beyond um, what we know as. Um, again, you know, uh, trying to connect with something bigger than ourselves and what is our purpose uh, in this world and um, what part we play or rather how we like to lead our lives, um, you know, what is important to us. The spirituality gives us a direction we'd like to lead our lives in. For example, you know, um, one of the facts about life is death, right? When we think about death, it brings to our forefront, you know, um, that how would we like to lead our lives that's important to us, that's meaningful to us because of the limitation of life in itself. And that's when you're connecting in with spirituality. And yeah, I've, I've um, you know, uh, in, in terms of counseling and experience, I have also noticed that people who maybe haven't delved deeper into their own spiritual meaning and understanding, they struggle a lot in trying to make sense of different aspects of their suffering and uh, death and life and so on and so forth. There's a lot more struggle in that. Here's my own personal perception about spirituality. So think of it as your armor, right? This gives you the right armor to, um, you know, face the adversities in life, the, the ups and downs, you know, our own personal growth and understanding of ourselves, others, and the world. Um, again, you know, uh, it, it's a kind of a form of a shield of protection. Uh, against uh, all kinds of things that we might be uh, confronted with. Um, so really, um, you know, important to understand that it acts as a shield and a barrier um, to protect us from a lot of uh, harm, okay? Be it seen harm or unseen harms. Um, I will explain that a little bit more uh, just shortly. Um, okay, moving on. Um, like basically spirituality in the modern era, you know, um, 
what does it what does it do uh, to us? It gives us basically, as I mentioned before, our structure. Imagine this life or the world without having any kinds of ethics or morals or principles. And you know, uh, it, it, you know, just as a small example, if there is no traffic lights on the roads. You can imagine the amount of accidents that are going to happen, right? So we need that kind of structure. You know, if you look at the structure of our health system or politics or countries or, you know, there is a structure in place for us to follow, even justice or, you know, um, and, and so on and so forth. In, in the absence of structure, things are all over the place. You know, it's really chaotic and uh, there is a less understanding of what's right and wrong and how it should be and so on and so forth. So basically spirituality gives us that sense of direction, but also building our own uh, personal subjective values and ethics and morals and so on and so forth. Um, it has, endless amounts of um, benefits you know I could I could just emphasize on that there is research uh, which you know uh, I will just kind of uh, touch upon um, because I've only got a very short space of time but I will try and go over it as much as I possibly can but you know it re really basically promotes to reach our full potential as human beings to constantly evolve, constantly learn. You know, every time, if you can imagine you're being through a suffering, I mean, you look back and reflect on it. You know what? I actually learned a lot from that experience. It's made me a stronger person. Yes, it was painful at the time, but it does teach you many things when we do reflect back. So spirituality is all about accessing all that uh, you know that's within ourselves and and constantly nurturing and growing it if you don't nurture and grow it you know there is an impact on our lives in uh, all kinds of different realms of, of our well-being which is also you know uh, scientifically researched as well so it gives us a sense of peace wholeness and balance amongst our physical emotional social and spiritual aspects of our lives and if you can imagine, you know, uh, spirituality as being one of the most fundamental aspects of our well-being. Okay. Um, next one is, I'm not going to go into kind of details in it. It's there. You guys can have a read uh, about it. Uh, how can we kind of enhance that spirituality? Now, you know, it doesn't, spirituality doesn't mean that, you know, you follow a certain religion. It can of course, um, but there are people who maybe don't follow religion, who maybe don't believe in a religion. So it's different ways of finding your sense of meaning and purpose of life. People find on different kind of, you know, uh, retreats or ritual things that they like to do, or even yoga, tai chi, reading scriptures, um, you know, contemplating reflection, appreciating gratitude, all those kind of, you know, uh, focusing on um, relationships, you know friendships or uh you know family friends societies and so on and so forth something we're doing right now as as we speak you know so this is us kind of our spiritual meeting if you choose to perceive it that way it's a choice you make okay very very important it's the intention okay um which sometimes we you know uh forget to focus on that. So even for example, if I am sitting here, so I'm sitting here, you know, delivering this uh, wonderful lecture to wonderful people, and I could either just do it as my career or, um, you know, maybe not put that much meaning or purpose into it. But if I do it with the intention of it's going to spiritually enhance me as well as help others and and so on so it's giving me a, a more enriched experience okay it's giving me a, a more meaningful um uh, uh, purpose and uh, it's helping me as well as people can pick up on those vibes yeah, yeah i really resonated with that and so on and so forth so your intention is very important in when you do things so even if it's small things or reflection but do it with the intention of enhancing your spiritual growth it will work okay um I've lost my, there we go. So some of the spiritual skills people um, tend to develop, again, 
uh, this uh, personal code there, it's kind of in a nutshell uh, what you begin with. Um, you begin by serving your own needs. Obviously, you know, there's a whole lot of science behind it uh, or psychology behind it with the ego and so on and so forth. Then, you know, you, you, your journey takes you to serving the needs of other people. So there's less kind of diminishing that sense of I. Um, and then you end by serving the needs of the whole. So basically, when you reach that um, a, a greater sense of spirituality, um, or the way I interpret it, this is my own personal interpretation, that in spirituality, um, there hardly exists the concept of I, because you are thinking about greater purposes. Okay, it begins off with that. Obviously, it's a journey you go through. You don't get to the end product just like that. So it's a whole journey, but the final product is something much more grand, something much more bigger, something much more meaningful and enriched. And that's what we're all trying to strive towards is, you know, finding that sense of um, uh, being in existence and, and purposeful life. Um, some of the things that people who are on greater uh, spiritual uh, paths, um, they tend to, um, again, find lots of meanings behind their sufferings, uh, their, you know, greater sense of patience and resilience and, um, um, you know, uh, less so feeling drained, but because they're connecting with their spiritual or rather energy, uh, they've got a lot of um, energy to give and feel less depleted themselves, which is, which is just phenomenal. I mean, science is still trying to discover what happens to a human being. Uh, and it's got lots of impacts on the human body as well, uh, which I will just kind of touch upon because I know that some of uh, our wonderful presenters are going to be touching upon that a bit more. Um, <clears throat> so um, let me just... Okay, um, so one of the things that happens is that our brain goes into the alpha state right, when we are um, spiritually connected, either with prayers or reading a scripture or mindfulness or reflection and things like that. Now, the alpha state is where, you know, scientists say that it's the right brain uh, activity or subjected to kind of senses of imagination, creativity, um, memory, intuitions, and things like that. Something, uh, uh, you know, that's really, really is important in how we function as human beings. Okay, so again, um, you know, so it, it's got lots of science behind it, and I am just touching on the surface here. Um, and you know, the spirituality has um, lots of um, impact on our body and mind. The mind begins to develop and grow, okay, physically. Uh, so not just psychologically or emotionally and things. And obviously, if the mind is growing stronger, it's going to have the, you know, relevant impact on our body, our, the way we see and existence and so on and so forth. Um, so, in a nutshell, you know, I've uh, kind of summarized all of that into four realms of our uh, being. Um, the first one is the psychological realm. This is all backed up by science and they're constantly, you know, discovering new things of the importance of spirituality in our um, uh, uh, world in the modern era. Um, the psychological uh, kind of well-being, uh, you know, it's, it's, that improves, it. spirituality helps us to improve our resilience, our confidence, our a better self-control, uh, reducing anxiety, stress, uh, finding, you know, um, uh, choosing positive perceptions, over negative ones, you know, again, you know, I could be saying, well, everybody's silent, you know, um, maybe, you know, there's, the, they're thinking something else, or they maybe don't like my presentation or something like that. Now, that's my negative perception, right? And I could get upset or feel anxious or something else, right? So what I'm doing here is that my negative thoughts is impacting my perception, right? I'm allowing that to happen without even realizing, without knowing that I have a choice, right? 
as soon as you become aware of the spiritual, you, you be begin to understand the power you hold um, as an individual over your mind um, and your choices that you have in the moments as you experience life, okay? Now, I could switch that negative thought into something positive by thinking, maybe everybody's listening intently and I'm doing great. So I am either I can break my confidence or enhance my confidence. The choice is mine. It's the choices that I choose to make. And, you know, my, my, my spiritual um, kind of understanding and growth will encourage that, that, you know, every word that I speak, I hope it benefits people and it enhances my own understanding about myself and, and others in the world, you know, so I'm doing it with that intention that will constantly give that little bit of a push behind my every thought. Um, and as I experience these moments. So again, the spiritual realm is, uh, if you look at all of these different realms of our well-being, the spiritual realm is actually the one that's guiding all of these, okay? Um, so for example, you know, what we believe um, of our uh, physical understanding uh, or social or psychological is all fueled by our spiritual kind of understanding of all these different aspects. Do we need to take care of our body? Do we need to take care of the environment? Do we need to take care of, you know, all these different structures that I spoke about, the morals and principles? You know, for example, we're less likely to make, you know, or maybe uh, uh, agree with a person who's maybe a mass murderer because of our principles and ethics, right? Um, so, uh, you know, or even find a job that might go against our principles or do an action or an act that might go against it. So the, the spiritual realm is actually feeding everything or controlling or uh, directing all of these different realms. Um, Again, you know, enhancing our spiritual um, uh, spirituality, rather, it helps uh, with our thought processes as well, makes them much more clear. We're in a better state of uh, making uh, life decisions or having more self-control. Again, it's an optimal level of achieving psychological functioning. OK, physical, again, it's the environment as well as the body. Uh, there's lots of, uh, you know, science and research being done, for example, with cancer patients, uh, people with faith compared to people with non-faith uh, and their recovery processes. Um, they've discovered that people with faith, they have uh, uh, better long term recovery processes and less uh, chances of the cancer coming back compared to the other group. So, again, there's lots of benefits in, your, in our bodies and healing process as well. Plus, you know, it boosts our immune systems. Um, there's more connections that get uh, developed in the brain because you're connecting yourself with the alpha state, you know, and, and so, so more the physical change of the mind in itself, as I said, uh, growth in the cortex and the gray matter in our brains. Um, again, it's, it, it, it kind of develops our, our uh, existence and our brains as well and how we function as human beings. Um, again, uh, um, the social realms, we're connecting with people and pouring our social relationships, including with our loved ones and our household, family, friends, societies, and so on and so forth, which also includes our occupational uh, well-being, that we're more likely to, you know, find jobs or at least go towards them that are that gives us a sense of meaning and purpose, and so on and so forth. Um, so that's quite important to um, uh, connect with. So lastly, on a positive note, I, I kind of like these quotations um, is that we are human beings having a spiritual experience. Uh, you know, I, I think Pierre said we are not human beings having a spiritual experience. We are spiritual beings having a human experience, which I thought was very, very interesting um, because that's what we, in essence, we are, uh, you know, as spiritual. And if we don't nurture that, uh, just like what that little quotation says, you know, deep within uh, your soul is a door that opens into a world of wonders. Open the door and let the magic in. It's a choice you make. So again, why not make better choices for ourselves? Um, so again, uh, I'd like to personally thank everyone for this wonderful opportunity. I hope you enjoy the presentations and uh, thank you everyone. <laughs>